Samantha. You're gonna have to talk to your father about it. But mom, it was a pop quiz. I was not prepared. And I got a D minus. It wasn't even an F. I didn't totally fail. Don't tell dad. Sure, I'll close the door by myself. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you will not be able to keep an after-school job if you can't get your grades up. But I love my job. Okay, I promise that I will get this grade up. I will talk to my teacher and see if I can turn in some extra credit. Fine, okay. Uh, hello? Is everybody gonna totally ignore the fact that I'm carrying a huge paper mache volcano? Oh wow, that looks really nice. It's my science project, and if you may ask, I got an A on it. Good job, Alexis. You should be really proud of yourself, sweetheart. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Uh, I need a snack. Are you working after school today? Mm-hmm. Just for a couple of hours. I'm actually going to be tutoring Louis today. Goldfish are my favorite after-school snack. I'm gonna go relax on the couch before I have to go to work. I just love having my own job. I can buy my own things. And it's so much fun. Sam, be careful with your Cheetos on the couch. Yes, Mom. Be home by seven, sweetheart. I'm gonna be making spaghetti for dinner. Yes, of course. Okay, Louis. Today I'm gonna be helping you with your math homework. We'll go over what we studied last week. Okay, I just really wanna finish so I can go home and play Roblox. Your nail polish is pretty, Alexis. Thanks. Okay, Louis, so we have seven plus what number equals 10? You totally know this. Seven plus what number equals 10? Um, 12? 12, really? Are you sure about that? Louis, are you just guessing again? You can't just make a guess when it comes to math. Okay, how about five? Oh, Louis. Three. The answer is three. Samantha, I am trying to teach Louis how to do math on his own. Sorry. Use your fingers if you have to. Okay, so seven plus one number is equals ten. So here is seven. And then we add one, eight, one, nine, three. Three. The answer is three. Yes, great job, you see. Okay, next problem. Thanks, Alexis. Now I really get it. I hope tomorrow I won't forget when I get to school. Good luck on your test tomorrow. You'll be fine. Just remember, don't guess. Okay, bye. <sighs> now time to do my own homework. Who could it be? Special delivery for the best girlfriend. Ryan! Ryan, thank you so much. Caramel Frappuccino. Thank you so much. You know how much I love these. Do you want to stay for dinner? I wish I could, but I can't. I have band practice, but are we still on for this weekend to go to the fair? Of course. I'll see you later. Bye, Mrs. Jones. Bye, Ryan. See you later. Bye. He is the best boyfriend ever. Order number 72, Happy Meal and a Big Mac combo. That's us. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Excuse me, lady. If I don't like the toy that I got in my Happy Meal, will you swap it out for me? I'm not really supposed to, but I think I can do it for you. Yay, thanks. Thank you. Of course. Hey, Becky. Hey, Sam. Whoa, I love your hair. Thanks, I just got these sparkly highlights put in. Aren't they cute? Yeah, he's cute. Huh? I mean, your hair is cute. <laughs> Silly me, this is my cousin, Jared. Jared, this is my best friend, Sam. Hi, Sam. He just moved here, Sam, from Arizona. Oh, nice to meet you. Do you guys wanna eat something? Uh, yeah, we'll take the chicken nugget meal with a soda with a Sprite. How about you, Jared? Uh, have a Big Mac with french fries and a milkshake. Sure, coming right up. Your total will be $15. Sam, would you mind working the drive-thru for me for a little bit? Oh, sure, I love working the drive-thru. Here's your food, guys. Thank you. Thanks. 
Nice to meet you, Jared. I'll see you around, Becky. Isn't she amazing? Hello, welcome to McDonald's. My name is Samantha. What can I get for you today? Hi, yes. Can I have uh, two chicken sandwiches, a number one, and a kid's meal, uh, chicken nuggets with a Sprite? Of course. Will that be all for you today? Okay, your total is $9.75. Dr. Lucy, it's me, Sam. Hello, Samantha. I didn't know you worked here. Don't worry. I am brushing my teeth every day, twice a day, and flossing. Great job, Samantha. Who is that, Mommy? Oh, she's a patient. She has a twin sister. Cool. Here's your food. Dr. Lucy, I hooked you up with some free barbecue sauce and extra ketchup. That usually costs extra. Oh, thank you, Samantha. Have a nice day. Tell Alexis I said hello. Bye. Bye. Okay, Samantha, your shift is over. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm home. I'm gonna go shower and change my clothes. So how was work? It was okay. Girls, your father wants to say hello to you. Our dad is a pilot, so he's out of town most of the time. We miss him a lot. Hey girls, I miss you guys so much. I can't wait to see you guys this weekend. How's everything going? How's school? Good. Perfect. Enjoy your dinner. And I can't wait to see you guys in a couple days. Bye, Daddy. We'll see you soon. Bye. Dinner is almost ready. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Dinner looks delicious. Yeah, it looks so good. I hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy! It's my turn to clean up the table. Sam did it yesterday. Sure did. Everything was really good, Mom. Thanks. Thankfully, we have a brand new dishwasher. Okay, the kitchen is clean. Ooh, I'm getting a bit tired. I better get ready for bed. <laughs> you already brushed your teeth, Sam? Uh-huh, I am all ready for bed. <laughs> Time to put on my pajamas. Let me set up my alarm for tomorrow. I don't want to wake up late for school. Send a goodnight text to Ryan. Aw, he is so sweet. Ugh. Good night, Sam. Don't stay up till late playing games. I won't. Good night, girls. Sweet dreams. Good night, Mom! Good night, Mom! Welcome aboard, ladies! Welcome aboard! May I please check your boarding passes? Yeah, I have my boarding pass right here. Are you guys twins? Yeah, we're identical twins. Oh, how nice! It's okay, guys. Okay, boarding pass and passport. Your seat is right there. You have the window and you miss, you have the aisle. Thank you, thank you. Let's go. Okay, I have my magazine and my neck pillow. Okay, I've got my camera. Okay, I have my video camera, my other camera, my neck pillow, my unicorn notebook so I can draw. Excuse me, pardon me. I need to get my bag up here. Okay, my carry-on is there. Uh, <clears throat> I can't wait to get to our destination, sister. We're gonna have the best vacation ever. I know it's gonna be so much fun. 
I can't wait to get to Disney. I want to go on all of the rides and eat a Mickey Mouse ice cream bar and visit the Cinderella castle. It's going to be a dream. Aren't your girls a little too old for Disney World? Huh? Excuse me, little boy. Were you listening to our conversation? Well, yeah, you're talking really loud. I've been to Disney like six times already. Well, it's our first time and we're really excited. Now, if you would excuse us, we're having a private conversation. How rude, that little boy just made fun of us. Jonathan, would you mind taking these suitcases for me? I will. Oh, does this belong to you guys? Oh yes, it belongs to me, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma'am. Have a safe flight. All right, folks, we've been clear for takeoff. Everyone, fasten your seatbelts and we're about to take off. Well, thankfully, it's a really short flight. I'll pass around the beverages. Okay, thanks. And the food is in the oven. Would you guys like something to drink? I'll have some grape soda. And I'll have grape soda too. And we'll have the chicken, mashed potatoes, and veggies. Of course. Thank you. You're very welcome. Would you like something to eat? No thanks, I'm feeling kind of sick. Yikes. So glad we could bring our pets on the plane. All the passengers are asleep. We should be arriving shortly to our destination. Let's clear for takeoff. Mm -hmm. Flight attendant crew, prepare for landing. Sister, wake up, we're landing. Everyone, please put your seats back up and put your tray tables away. Let's prepare for landing, guys. Put your seat up. Hey, give me a second. Don't kick my seat. Sweetheart, be nice to those young girls. Thank you for flying with us. You guys have a nice trip. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day. Let's go, sister. Let's go get our suitcases. Thank you. Bye. Have a safe trip. Welcome to the Disney Resort, ladies. Wow, this hotel is so pretty. Now we have our Princess Belle suite and our under the sea room. We'll take one Princess Belle suite and one under the sea suite. Right, sister? Uh-huh. Perfect. You guys get complimentary Mickey Mouse ears for staying with us today. Awesome. <laughs> so cute. Your room will be ready in a couple of minutes. You can check out our little Disney store before you guys go to your rooms. We will. I'll let you guys know when your rooms are ready. Let's go walk around. Oh, they have such cute things here. I want to get something for my bed. This is so adorable. Look, sister, they have this really cute juice. It has Figaro on it. Isn't that Minnie Mouse little cat? Yeah, it's so cute. You think that's cute? Check this out. Chip and nail cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. I could use some yummy snacks. Me too. Ladies, your rooms are ready. Thank you. We'll pay for these items and we'll go to our rooms. We're at Disney, yay! So childish. Are you serious? He's staying in this hotel too? I will not let him rain on my parade. We're in Disney World and I just can't help it. I'm so happy and excited. It doesn't matter how old we are. Disney is Disney. It's magical. Let's go pay and let's go see our rooms. I have the bell room and I have the Little Mermaid room. Are you guys ready to pay? Thank you. Well, it's already too late to go to the Disney park. So we should go to sleep and wake up right and early so we can go on all the rides. Yeah, first let's go see our amazing room. I love my princess bedroom. And I love my Little Mermaid under the sea room. We'll go to sleep and we'll wake up bright and early to go to the park. Good idea. Good night, sister.
I'm all dressed. Now I just have to wake up my sister. I can't believe she's still sleeping. We're in Disneyland. Wake up, wake up. I'm gonna order some room service. I'm awake. I just love my bed, it's so comfy. Hi, room service please. Can I get two of the Disney breakfast specials? Yes, up to our rooms. Thank you. That was easy. Sister, wake up! We got our breakfast! Mickey and Minnie donuts! Mickey pancakes! This is just amazing! Wake up and get dressed! We need to go to Disney! I'm wearing my special Tinkerbell shirt! Let's go! This is so tasty! I know, you have to try the pancakes, they're delicious! Wow! We're in Disney World, sister! This is amazing! Picture me with the castle? Yes. Say cheese! Cheese! Let's go watch the parade! Here's a Dumbo ride, let's go! should go visit next. Hey guys, today we're going to show you our school morning routine versus our weekend routine. As you will see, they are completely different. I mean, who likes school morning routines? It is not that bad. Well, roll it. During our school days, we need to wake up super, super early because we have to catch the bus. And our day usually starts with a really loud alarm clock which is usually my cell phone. <laughs> usually I'm pretty good at waking up, but my sister, she is a different story. <sighs> Time to get ready for school. <sighs> Sam, wake up, we have to go to school. Wake up! Wake up! 
We go through this every single morning. During the week, I shower during the night time. So I have more time in the morning to get ready and do things like do my makeup and hair. <laughs> Perfect, if I have time, I watch my favorite five minute school makeup tutorial. Sometimes I even put the tutorial on my tablet so I can get ready faster. Great, we have the same powder. A little powder. Oh, oh no, I got stuck in my hair. A little mascara on the lashes. Perfect, and since I'm just going to school, I'll use some chapstick. Don't want to look like I'm trying too hard. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect. Now I can get dressed. Since we wear uniforms to school, it makes it a lot easier getting ready in the morning. And no, I am not waking up my sister. She needs to learn to be responsible. We actually got new school uniforms and these are way cuter than the ones we wore last year. The ones from last year were super hideous. Eh, yikes. I'm ready to go. Good morning, sweetheart. Breakfast is on the table. Good morning, mom. Where is your sister? I think she's still sleeping. I try waking her up, but you know how she is. I'll go wake her up. Samantha? Samantha? Samantha, wake up. You are extremely late for school. You're gonna miss a school bus. And I can't take you to school today. I have a meeting in my office. Samantha, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. <sighs> I hate school. No. I am so tired. Why can't I be homeschooled? This is so unfair. What time is it anyway? Oh my gosh. I have like five minutes. I really have to shower. Well, go. Some privacy. No time to go down the stairs. One, two. Woo! I'm here. I'm here, everyone. Don't worry. And I'm not going to be late for school. Samantha, your hair looks like a bird's nest. And I even feel bad for saying that. Poor bird's nest. It deserves more respect than that. Well, who has time to do her hair and makeup in the morning? Not me. You don't have time to sit down and eat breakfast. It's okay, I'll just grab something from the fridge and I'll drink it on the way. Hmm, what should I take? Sam, we're gonna miss the bus, hurry up. Okay, okay. Fine, fine, I'll just take an apple. Mmm. Bye girls, have a nice day. Bye mom, we'll see you later. Come on Alexis, you don't wanna be late. Maybe tomorrow, you'll actually wake up when the alarm goes off. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> During the weekend, things are a little bit different. I usually wake up around 9 because I have baseball practice or ballet, depending on the week. I can lay in bed, scroll through Instagram, look at my favorite YouTube videos, and just relax before going to practice. And I usually sleep in till whatever time I wake up. Ooh, I better get dressed for practice. I don't want to be late. And I'm ready to go to baseball practice. I wonder what my sister will do all day. Well, I usually wake up whenever I feel like it. I usually wake up around 11 a.m. <sighs> and then I play some video games until mom tells me to come down. I'm building a new hotel on Bloxburg and it's taking me forever. On the weekends, I usually come down to the couch with my blanket and watch some more TV. I actually really love watching cartoons. On weekends, I usually catch breakfast with my team. I'll see you later, Mom. Bye. Bye, sweetheart. And on weekends, Mom usually cooks delicious pancakes just for me. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Big day today, huh? Yes, it's homecoming dance. Oh, <gasps> Sam, your toes. Pink blush. 
Okay, guys, I'm ready. How do I look? Well, do you want to dance? And this year's Homecoming Queen title goes to... <gasps> Sam, don't move. Sorry, this is really, really sticky. Well, it's a face mask. It's supposed to be sticky. It's gonna make your skin glow and look amazing for our school dance. But is this really necessary? Of course it is. Now just let it sit for about 15 minutes. I'll go do my face mask. Your toes! When's the last time you got a pedicure? I don't know. You are so lucky I'm your sister. Today is a very, very, very special day. It's our homecoming dance. We're gonna get a limo and everything. I'll be going with my sweet boyfriend, Ryan. Sam doesn't have a date, but that's okay because we're gonna have so much fun all together, right Sam? Actually, I didn't really want to go, but you're kind of dragging me to go with you. Well, that's because I don't want you to regret it later when you're much, much older. I have a beautiful purple gown and I can't wait to get dressed. But let's fix Sam's toenails for now. <laughs> ah! Wow, I should have my very own spa. Just one more time, okay? Please do it quickly. Big day today, huh? Yes, it's homecoming dance. Do you remember our homecoming dance together? Of course I do. Wait, you guys went to homecoming together? That's so cute. Yes, we are high school sweethearts. Okay, Sam, it's time to rinse off our face masks. Blue will be here soon. She's doing our hair and makeup. I'll get the door. Hi. Hi, I'm Blue, the hair and makeup artist. Oh, yes, of course. Please come in. Is it okay if I set up all my stuff here? Yes, yes, of course. Wow, Alexis, I didn't know you actually had a twin. Yep, this is Sam, my twin. You guys are identical. Okay, I'll start with your makeup and your hair. Mm, we'll start with some moisturizer. Which foundation shade would be a better match? This one or this one? I think we'll go with this one. What color is your dress? Uh, blue. I guess we'll use these two colors. Mascara. A little bit over here. Pink blush. Okay, Alexis, it's your turn. Are you ready? Yes, please. Oh, wow, Sam, you look beautiful. Thanks. I love this dress. Wait till you see Alexis. She looks beautiful. She is totally going to win Homecoming Queen. I made sure all my friends voted for her. Okay, guys, I'm ready. How do I look? You look amazing! Wow, Alexis, you look beautiful. Come on, Sam, get next to her so we can take pictures. Seems like yesterday they were little babies. That must be Becky. Or oh, Ryan. Hey, guys! Becky, I love your dress! Thank you, we're all very sparkly, aren't we? <laughs> wow, Alexis, you look like a princess! <laughs> Thank you! Wow, you guys look amazing! Hello, sir. Hello, Ryan. Nice to see you. You look nice. Thanks. Do you like the flower I chose? I love it. 
I also got one for Becky and for Sam. And they don't have official dates. I thought it would be nice for them to have one too. Thanks, Ryan. That's nice of you. Yeah. There you go. And one for Becky. Okay, guys, get together for a picture. Okay, everyone, look at me. All right, guys, have fun. We'll see you later. I have so many pictures I have to share with everyone on Instagram. Wait, your mom has Instagram? Don't forget to tag me. All right, guys, the limo's outside. Let's go. This is such a nice limo. I know, right? Selfie! Sam, do you remember I introduced you to my cousin? Yeah, your cousin Jared. He is totally going to the dance tonight. You should totally dance with him. <laughs> okay. I'm so nervous, Ryan. What if I don't win Homecoming Queen? It's okay, Alexis. You already won in my book. Aww. <laughs> The whole point of a limo is that you can dance inside! Come on, guys! Ooh. I don't want to dance too much. I don't want to ruin my hair before we get there. Wow, everything looks amazing! Right? It's gonna be the best homecoming ever! Thanks for telling me to come. I would have missed out on a lot of fun. I told you! Wow, Alexis, I love your dress! Hey, Sam. Oh, hi, Jared. Where's your date? Oh, I don't have one. <laughs> I wasn't even planning on coming, to be honest, but my sister made me do it. Well, do you want to dance? Sure. Did you vote for my sister for prom queen? Um, nope. Was I supposed to? Yes, it's like her biggest dream. Please go now and go vote. Okay, I will. How are you feeling? I am so nervous. I think you're going to do great. Picture for the yearbook. And this year's homecoming queen title goes to Alexis. Oh, goodness. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Thanks, everyone. We hope you like this video. Congratulations again, sis. But you know what? I think this crown would even look more beautiful on you. Stop. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see us in more videos. Thanks for watching. Hi, guys. Today we're doing something really exciting. We are doing the Twin Telepathy Challenge. We've seen it all over YouTube, but we thought we are actual twins, so this should be easy for us. Totally. When we were little girls, we used to pretend we could read each other's minds. So now it's time to put it to the test, and we are doing the slime challenge. Let's get started. Okay, so now we have this wall in place, so no one can cheat. I cannot see what she's choosing. For this round, I'm going to start making the slime, and my twin sister has to guess what I'm choosing. She has to try to make the same exact slime as me. This should be easy because she is so predictable. We'll let Alexis go first. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Good luck, Samantha. First, I'm gonna choose the kind of glue I'll be using. So my options are pink glitter glue, blue glitter glue, or purple glitter glue. I'm gonna choose this one. Okay, this should be easy. Um... Okay, I think she chose this one. Okay, now it's time to choose an activator. Okay, I feel pretty good about my choice. We can use our borax solution or some detergent. I'm gonna choose this one. Okay, I'm gonna choose this one. Okay, I pour some of that activator. Let's start mixing. 
Okay, it's my turn. Uh-oh, I think I went a little overboard with the activator. <laughs> Amateur. Okay, I have to say my slime is looking pretty good. Oh, no! I have to say, I'm pretty proud of how my slime is turning out since I'm not an expert like my sister. Okay, now it's time for the real test. What kind of decorations am I going to choose? We have a choice of gummy bear charms, pastel foam beads, or glitter. What's it gonna be, sister? Ready? Go! I'm gonna choose these. And I think that she chose these right here. Here it is! I love how my slime turned out. Okay, my turn. Now for the final reveal. Gummy bears! Oh, I knew it! Well, at least you chose a pink glitter glue. Aw, oh, your slime looks better than mine. I know, the little gummy bears are really cute. Yours looks good too. Don't be upset. Kind of looks like bubble gum. Yeah, it kind of looks like gumballs. And my slime is very stretchy. Actually, I take it back. I love my slime. Are you ready for the next round? <laughs> yeah, bring it on. For this round, we have a choice of fine gold glitter, little fruit confetti, or java chips. And we have the same options of glue. This is gonna be so easy. I go first, and I'm gonna choose this glue. And I'm gonna choose this one. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, and I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. I'm gonna choose not one, but two different toppings. Easy breezy. This and this. Okay, I think she chose this and this. Okay. Oh, my slime looks so funny. It actually looks better than I thought. Okay, sister, I'm done. Okay, and I think she chose the little fruit. And the Oh, no. And the glitter. Wow, it turned out so pretty. I don't know if he chose this, but it looks amazing. Time for the final reveal. What? We chose everything differently, well, except the gold glitter. Mine reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream. I chose purple because purple is your favorite color. Yeah, but I didn't want to be predictable. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you want us to try another twin challenge. Okay, sister, today is Christmas Eve, and in our advent calendar, we have some candy canes. Mmm, mmm. You want a candy cane? No, thank you. Well, we better get everything set up for Santa. Oh, it's getting a little late. We should definitely leave out the cookies and milk for Santa. Good idea. Some cookies. Let's pour some milk. And we'll have Frosty watch out for the cookies. They're not for you. <sighs> we should probably get to bed. How about a Christmas story before bed? Just like when we were little girls. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. 
was the day before Christmas and all through the hills the reindeers were playing, enjoying their spills. While every so often they'd stop to call names at one little deer not allowed in their games. Good night, sister. Good night. Merry Christmas Eve. Tickling me! Oh, it's Christmas morning! Merry Christmas, Buttercup! Oh, wow! Sister, sister, wake up! Sister, sister, wake up! Merry Christmas! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Look at those dresses! So beautiful! I can't wait to wear it! I love my dress too! And look at all these presents! Christmas selfie! For their breakfast, we have some coffee to keep them nice and warm. Some pancakes. Some toast and bacon. A little gingerbread cookie to share. Some orange juice. Some Nutella. And some cream cheese. Yum! This looks delicious! Mmm! Yum! Now let's go put on our dresses. Wow, the dresses look amazing. I feel like a princess with this dress. <laughs> Me too. We wish you all a very, very happy holiday. Now we are off to our Christmas party. We wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.